Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be using a combination of what I get from the food bank and what I have on hand to make a delicious chicken enchilada casserole. This was supposed to be part of my food bank haul video that I did yesterday. If you're new here, I do a lot of food bank haul videos and pantry cooking, and I thought I lost this clip, but going through all my files, I found it. So I was like, you know what? Let's just make a short video of how I put together food from different resources like your food bank, like a co-op, or like going to the grocery store or growing your own food. How you can get a combination of all different foods and throw it in to make one delicious meal for your family. So let's get in here and let's see how I make my chicken enchilada casserole. So out of my food bank haul, I'm going to be utilizing the cilantro, well, some of it, the queso. I have gotten this enchilada sauce from a previous food bank haul, so we're going to use this. And then from my pantry, I have some corn tortillas that I need to get used up, so I'm gonna make a casserole. I have some green onions here, I'm gonna throw them in there. And then I do have some shredded cooked chicken that I had from a Costco rotisserie chicken. So I wanna get this used up, so we're gonna put this in our casserole. I have a block of cream cheese that I have at room temperature. And then I don't have any cheese, but digging around in my fridge drawer, I did find some of this Gouda cheese meets Parmesan. That's what it says. It's Vincent um, six month aged cheese and its expiration was May 3rd, but it still looks good to me. So we're gonna crack this open and we'll see how this goes with our enchilada casserole. Nothing like Gouda and Verde, right? <laughs> so let's get in here and let's whip up a casserole for dinner. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is check out this cheese. That is a very sharp flavor. I guess that's the Gouda. Um, I'm probably not going to use all of this then, but I do think some of it will go nicely. I'm going to shred it into the casserole pan I'm going to end up using. I bet this would be good in a pasta too. Alright, I'm going to trim off this rind. I don't know if this is edible or not. Rind from cheeses though is one of those things that you can add to your chicken stock or your beef stock pot and it really helps add flavor and it uses up that seasoning and that rind it doesn't waste it so the mine's going in my bag that i keep in the freezer with all my leftover scraps for stock all right and then half of this i'm going to save just going to add a little bit to this dish since this cheese is so powerful he's powerful So we will put this in here. Let's put our block of cream cheese in here. Jinxing myself, but the kids are still outside for now. Entertaining themselves with eating the chicken's watermelon. Okay, so. Whoops. Well, you're not supposed to put the container in there too. Now, I would not be against eating this thing with just chips <laughs> and heating it up and eating it that way. That would be also, that also would be good. Or just heating it up in the microwave. Yeah. Oh, let's scrape this lid too. Looks like at least two mouthfuls worth of cheese right there. All right, and then I'm gonna put in some of the cilantro. Or shall I say diced celery? <laughs> Someone entered the wrong code. This isn't really even diced up that much either. Rough chopped. I think that's good. We still got a lot for the freeze dryer. All right, last thing before I start mixing are these green onions. Let's just use all these up. So this is what I kind of do guys, I just take stuff that I get from the food bank and incorporate it with what I already have in my kitchen or what I have in my food storage and I just mix it up and try and make something delicious that I can feed my family. You know, stretch that those rare ingredients like queso or rib 
ribs or steaks or wagyu whatever random ingredient you get that's delicious and stretch it so the whole family can enjoy it and just use it as an ingredient you know okay got all that Get our tortillas. let me open my can here all right i'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce down on the bottom Tortillas. These are super crumbly. Oh, I hear a kid. I'm telling mama. <sighs> no, no telling mama. Alright, I'm going to put some of this mixture down. No telling mama, go play outside. <laughs> He's like, mama said she's gonna cancel it. I don't know what I'm canceling, but apparently me saying go outside, man, I'm can't. He can go tell the kids. And then look, it's gonna get them all upset and they're gonna come in, mama, why are you canceling, yada yada. Oh, I have multiples, they say. Cancel what? I didn't say I'd cancel anything. All right, so now that I have that layer in there, I'm just going to be spreading the chicken on top. Oh, going on five, going on 15, let me tell you. Okay, I might do a little more sauce. Drizzle that. Put more tortillas. Go put a little more sauce. Have to give me a minute. Oh, we got a bicycle chain broken now. Ah. Oh, it's pretty good. Well, I never remember. Okay. Let's put the rest of this chicken down. There we go. Guess I'll do one more roll, roll, one more row of tortillas here. All right, I'll just pour the rest of the sauce on. Do a little more of the. Oh, I left a piece of chicken here. Get in there. Get in there. Let's do a little gouda on top just for decoration purposes. All right, I'm putting in this in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes and then we'll check it. That looks done to me. I like that bubblage. So we're going to let that cool down. Man, this smells like you get that green verde sauce from the chilies, and then you're getting the strawberry rhubarb sweet cake. Woo, they both smell delicious though. Let's break into this casserole. All right, we got, uh, the kids are listening to My Singing Monsters. You guys heard of that game? They like to just watch it on YouTube Kids. So that's what they're singing. Looks pretty good. My center looks pretty creamy the queso cream cheese it looks super hot <laughs> steam my face this is the closest thing i get to a spa day oh yeah i'm 
Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that case so spicy. It's probably gonna be too spicy for the kids. What a shame. Mm. Wow, I'm gonna eat this whole plate. I like it with that corn tortilla. It doesn't really get, it doesn't really get crispy, but it has flavor to it. The green onions in there are really nice. Mmm. Mmm. That's a keeper. Yum. And just like that, we got a green chicken verde casserole. It was so tasty, guys. And the creaminess of the cream cheese adds all the difference. So if you don't have the queso, then use something else. Maybe use a can of cheese soup or nacho cheese. Just be creative about it. Take something that you might only have a small amount and stretch it to make a whole meal that everybody can enjoy. Make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that little bell too. That notifies you every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Verts.